What is up, YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Willie of the Raiders Rundown, and we got breaking news going on right now, man. This is pretty crazy. Mick Lombardi has officially been hired as the Raiders offensive coordinator. This is big news. Everybody's been trying to figure out who is Josh McDaniels going to get. We know he's going to be the play caller because that's what he did in New England, and he was the leading offensive coordinator there in New England. But McDaniels grabs his QB coach from Patriots, and he grabbed even some more staff from the Patriots. He also grabbed uh, the offensive line coach, Carmen Brasillo. So Adam Schefter just reporting here. We're breaking this right now. Raiders hired Patriots wide receiver coach Mick Lombardi as their offensive coordinator per league sources. Raiders also hired former New England offensive line coach Carmen Brasillo for the same job in Las Vegas. So Brasillo, that's pretty interesting. He's taking a lateral move. People are jumping shit from the Patriots staff. They're leaving Bill Belichick and going to Josh McDaniels. I know that's got to piss Bill off. Even though Bill says some nice things in the media about Josh, you know this dude's heated because his whole organization is being torn apart by the Raiders. We're taking Ziggler, taking McDaniels, and now we're taking Lombardi. Just another piece here. Mick Lombardi, young cat man, 33 years old, has nine years of experience in the NFL. He is our new offensive coordinator. He's the guy. He's the guy for us now on offense. 2013 was the 49ers assistant to head coach then in 2014 became the Niners offense assistant and oddly enough in 2015 was also the defensive assistant so he sees both sides of the ball that's what I really like about him and the Niners offensive quality control coach in 2016 by the way in 2014 2015 or he's working with Jim Harbaugh, which is pretty interesting. Then he was the Jets offensive assistant in 2017 to 2018, Patriots assistant QB coach with McDaniels in 2019, and with McDaniels was the wide receiver coach in 2020 and 2021. And now he is the Las Vegas Raiders offensive coordinator. So give him a welcome, uh, find him on the socials, hit him up, let him know that we want him to succeed. And hopefully this guy can succeed, but how can you not? You got Josh McDaniels helping you. He's an offensive guru from Patriots. And you also have just a loaded roster in every area besides the offensive line and besides wide receiver. But what have the Patriots done historically? I think they've made do on utilizing cheap veteran wide receivers and offensive linemen. They, they've done that really well. And I think they've draft, drafted decently for their offensive line over the past 10 years. So hopefully they'll be able to fix our problems. We've got a lot to work with, man. we got Derek Carr, Josh Jacobs, Darren Waller, Foster Moreau, Hunter Renfro. That's a good nucleus to build around on offense. Kenyon Drake as well, along with Alec Engelden. Hopefully they succeed. I think he's going to be an upgrade uh, over Greg Olson. Let me know in the comments right now. Is Mick Lombardi going to be an upgrade over Greg Olson? Let me know yes or no in the comments right now. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, he is also related to Michael Lombardi, uh, who used to work with the Patriots and also was the Browns general manager. So that's dope. We'll see what happens. The young guy, 33 years old. Hopefully another team doesn't try to steal him as a head coach, too. That's also a possibility in the future. Carmen Brasillo replacing Tom Cable as the offensive line coach. Tom Cable, maybe he's uh, slugged a, a, enough people out too much. I don't know if uh, a lot of staffs want him around the NFL. But, you know, shout out to Tom Cable and Greg Olson for all the work they did for the Raiders. There's a lot of things that we don't see, man, the amount of sacrifices they make to try to get us a victory. And I know it doesn't work out all the time, but you got to give a shout out to all the former staff out there, really. But Carmen Brasillo is the new guy. And by the way, when I first saw the word Carmen pop up, I'm not going to lie. I was like, is this, are we, are we, got, we got like a female offensive line coach is what I thought. I didn't know if this was going to be a Roger Goodell hire. You know what I mean? But hey, Carmen Brasillo, 45 years old, older than Lombardi, and has four years in the NFL, mainly with the Patriots. He was primarily the offensive line coach at Youngst Youngstown State in Ohio for about eight years. You know, the state college there in Ohio, not Ohio State, Youngstown State, right? And he was their O-line coach there for almost a decade, 2010 to 2018. Then 2019, Patriots coaching assistant. Then the co-O-line coach in 2020, O-line coach just this past year. And boom, McDaniels has seen enough. And I kind of thought this was crazy. This guy's only been in the league since 2019. Tom Cable has way more experience than this guy. But McDaniels must have seen enough and thought, wow. I got to go out and get this guy. I got to convince him to leave Bill Belichick and the Patriots. And here's the big thing that I want to like say right now. The fact that all these people, Ziggler, Carmen, uh, Mick, all these people are leaving the Patriots organization to join the Raiders. They're leaving Bill Belichick. Could you imagine leaving Bill Belichick, the guy who's won multiple Super Bowls, has a very high probability of winning another one just based on pure statistics, and they're all leaving this organization 
to come join the Raiders. That says something about the Raiders. That says something about what Josh McDaniels is building. If all these people are making lateral moves too, the lateral moves, this guy, he was an O-line coach in New England, boom, lateral move to Vegas. All these coaches are coming here because they know something special is brewing here. They know this is going to be successful, and they know that Vegas is going to be lit and make a lot of cash. Straight up, why else would they do, why else would they do it? They see the writing on the wall. I want to ask you guys, do you see the writing on the wall? Do you think something special is going to happen this year? Honestly, with all these moves, coaching changes, I, I am becoming more optimistic week by week. You guys know, I, I get down, I get pessimistic, I criticize some things, I cast doubt in certain areas, right? But when you see moves like this, when you see people leave Bill Belichick and come to the Raiders, I mean, they, they must know something that I don't, which is that something special is really gonna happen here. And, and I hope so, and I hope we keep Derek Carr, we could build around him and, and go full on for a bull run this year, rather than pumping the brakes and having to restock this roster, rebuild this roster. and. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be, we, we have, a, have a successful year. And I think so. I think so, man. But shout out to Carmen. Shout out to Mick joining the team, joining the Raiders. Adam Schefter was the first person to report this just a little while ago at 3.30, uh, 3 Pacific time. This, I, this, I am recording this at 3.55 Pacific time. So shout out to you and shout out to everybody who supported this channel thus far. Uh, give us a like if you can to boost us in the algorithm. Also subscribe to this channel, man. We got videos and like I said, I'm breaking stories all the time and I'm breaking this one right here uh, along with several other people, but I'm trying to tr trying to stay on top of it for you guys, for you Raider Nation. And I hope you enjoyed this because I've enjoyed talking to you. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Love to see you. And this is Wi-Fi Willie of the Raiders Rundown and peace out.